This animation is going to describe how uh, precipitation happens at what are called cold fronts and warm fronts. These are weather systems that develop wherever masses of cold air collide with masses of warm air. And the name actually comes from war, where armies would be meet along a battle line called a front. And one way to think about the difference between cold fronts and warm fronts is to think about which mass of air is going to win the battle. So we'll start with a cold front. This is a situation that happens where cold air moves in like a big wedge underneath warm air. Cold air is always heavier than warm air, and so it's denser. And it's going to tend to slide under the warm air and push the warm air upward. Anytime you have air rising upward, it's going to expand and cool and lose its ability to hold moisture. And this will give you a band of clouds and precipitation along a cold front. On weather maps, if you watch the weather on the news, you can see cold fronts marked by uh, lines of, of blue teeth that point in the direction the cold air is moving. Along cold fronts, you typically have very intense local thunderstorms and rainstorms. So it might pour rain for a short time, but then quickly, usually within an hour or so, the front will have, will have moved on. So a cold front is where the cold air pushes underneath the warm air, and you have high rainfall and usually intense thunderstorms. Now, the warm front has in common a couple of things with the cold front. One is that the warm air still goes up on top of the cold air. But in this case, the warm air is actually pushing the cold air out of the picture. So the warm air is winning, and that's how you can remember it. It's a warm front. The warm air pushes against the cold air, squeezing it out. Like, like imagine squeezing a watermelon seed between your fingers. It kind of squeezes out, right? And as the air pushes, it also rises up over the cold air. Rising air, again, loses its ability to hold moisture, and you tend to get clouds and rain. On long warm fronts, you typically have more mild, more mellow, more spread out uh, rainstorms rather than really local intense thunderstorms. And if you're looking at the weather on the news, they mark warm fronts on maps with red half moons that point in the direction that the warm air is pushing the cold air. So that's cold fronts and warm fronts, major precipitation belts uh, in many places on the earth.